What do you smoke? What are your favorite My cigars? favorite? Yeah. Partagas Lusitanians is my favorite. So you, you know, like a big cigar? I like a big cigar. You know, I can smoke a small cigar too. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I like variety. I like to, you know, at least experiment. Why well, don't we go, this one, it's, it's, you know, this is. I'm not uh, giving this up. You want to try something else? No, I, I, I want to go to the pre -cash Okay, I'll go just, with that. I don't want to weave without having this cigar. I, I don't open these that often. This is a pre Castro Cuban. Um, and I can't wait to Have you ever been to Cuba? Many times. Actually, I, I started going there in 1991 to do a cover story for the Wine Spectator yeah. on Cuban scars. I had no idea when I went there I was going to have a cigar magazine. Then I went to Cuba, and it's like... Having, well, that's, my, that's, my, that's my dream trip. But, well, here's... So I'm, I have a quote here from our last interview 12 years ago. And it says, quote, my biggest dream is to visit Cuba and visit some of the cigar factories. Yes. Obviously, with the embargo, it's a little difficult. Yes. Well, you can go now. I could. I want to go with no restraints, though. If I go right now, you still have restraints, you know, politically as well as, you know, a lot of other things. You know, my, my wife is Cuban. You know, her family has got a lot of memories about Cuba. She wants to go. Um, which I think is a motivational factor because she wants to go for different reasons. I want to go for particular reasons, obviously. It's coming. It's just a matter of time. I know well, I, I can, uh, I'm going to tell you something you already know. I know you're going to take me. You can take no, me. no, I wasn't going to say I'm going to take you yeah, because you I don't want to be surrounded by thousands and thousands of people uh, following me around as you would. I don't want to either. <laughs> but you would be so unbelievably welcome in Cuba from the Cuban people and the Cuban government, it would have an enormous impact on how they felt about their own self-esteem. Really? Yes. I never looked at it that way. And um, I, I mean, I looked at it from a selfish yeah. stand, standpoint in terms that I think it's a, you know, it's yeah. a very uh, rich country. When I say rich in terms of you know, the things heritage, that I like, yeah. you know, heritage and things mm. of that nature, old, it, it, traditional. Mm. You know, I, I initially, and one mm. of the things that my father-in-law and I talk about all the time is mm. that I wish I could buy one of those old cars and ship it back here. Because it, to me, that's, yeah. that's very authentic to be able to see something mm. like that. And to be able to go and see how this transformation happens, because I'm such a fan of cigars, 